What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Okay, uh, BFF's another episode. Welcome, Josh, back in LA. We just were talking, neither Bree or I even knew you were going to be here. Yeah, so, again, it was a very last second plan thing. Like, I didn't even know I was going to the Barstool offices until I think like 24 hours before I showed up. And then what did you do it through Kareem? Um, Kareem, was it through you? I, Katie told me. My assistant told yeah, me. Yeah, they just like, texted hey, me gonna... and said, Josh's going to be in New York. I was like, yeah, I mean, Bree and Dave are gone, but I'll be here. So, <laughs> Are you going to come back mm -hmm. when we're both here? Um, Nah, fuck you guys. I don't, I don't want to see you guys. Wow. That was, yeah, crazy. I thought I missed something. Me like, too. I was like, could, yeah, oh shit, is Dave like there? Is he going to be pissed? Trip. No, but I, I met, um, I met uh, what, what was her name again? Uh, Tico, Texas. I Tico did see Texas. that. Tico, yes. Yeah, I she's saw a Tico. character. I don't know where she I, is. I thought she starred too. No, yeah, I actually, I actually <laughs> smelt, like, I actually smelt her group coming in before, like, not in, like, a stinky way, like, but you know what I'm saying, right? No, I don't. Like, I smelt weed them way. before they oh, weed. got weed. in the office. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. how they roll. Yeah, that yeah, is no, how they roll. No, they really were rolling, High rollers. for sure. Okay, so into the uh, topics, and our guy Kareem, once again, great job getting guests again this is i've i've reamed out kareem now like five times kareem just uh, 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 <laughs> another another bff okay, to podcast be fair, another canceled guest we, another canceled tried, guest let's go get everyone like, says they'll come on but then they don't come on who like every person that he dms and every person that i talk to say yeah i'll come on we but have then a they lot don't of people in limbo I, yeah how i am fairly busy but i guarantee you i can get guests every single week Wait, i guarantee I, it i have a question so going forward would is a guest that we would normally maybe may or may not have on better than no guest at all do you think like if, if it comes to that point where it's I like you're repeat, scrambling i would find good people but we can always get somebody i feel like is a good guest i feel like we can do that it's just lack of effort it's a bff's pod like we got the status we're number one on it, famous it, birthdays and, you know? and i get not everyone will do it but it takes planning and like being obsessed. You, 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 when I ask Kareem, do we have a get? No. Mm -hmm. Just show, but show, we show. are we are planning it throughout the week and do reach out to a lot of people. But at what point solidified. are you like, oh fuck, we don't have a guest? Because then I would be like on the phone DMing like twenty four seven. I was with you yesterday in the car. You did nothing. No, I that was well. Instagram I, was down. I was working. I w yeah, Instagram was down. But I was working on getting people, and then we did get a guest. And then got, they, that, they that was, so that leads into the story. Couch guy being the lead story. We thought we we're gonna have him and her on the pod, but I guess they confirmed around midnight, and then they bailed in the morning. They so, bailed on BFFs. Yes. Really. Yeah. Which doesn't. So I'm not everyone's gonna do it. I mean, they're young. I guess they were on. They went on another one. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this this thing's like crazy as viral. You said they wanted to be paid. Yeah, at first they were like, is there a uh, payment involved? Which, by the way, I would have been like, how much you want? If they were like 100 bucks, I'd be like, yeah, sure, here's 100 bucks. Who knows what they would have wanted? But um, anyways, would have loved to have them on the show because this thing is going bananas viral. I assume you guys have both seen it. Yeah, it's absolutely insane taking over TikTok. Josh, so I, I, I don't, I'm, am I just out of the loop? You here? must am be I if like... you've never seen it. You know it too, Dave? You've seen it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, have I seen it? I got in a fight. I got in a fight about it. Because who, who, who's couch guy? Oh, Josh, you See, gotta watch it. So there's this video. Me and Dave have done a little role, like a role reverse here. Yeah, what's going on so, here? So couch guy is a, a girl surprises her boyfriend at college. The guy is sitting on the couch with like two or three girls. Okay. And, and the internet has gone bananas. That basically okay. the guy is clearly cheating on the girl. That is the I guess the the. The standard line yeah Everybody. there's like a bunch of theories that he's passing the phone off that uh the girlfriend is like in denial and that he's cheating and the girlfriend is kind of in denial what, what's your stance on it i so i watched it and i absolutely do not think there's anything to it i don't, don't think, think the so? guy's cheating i don't think he was being weird he I, wasn't excited though but uh, you like he was on he looked like he was caught off guard but he sees her smiles hugs the girl next to her they say they're cheating i have a freeze frame on my phone like her face is a genuine like smile like it's not weird and i guess they know each other so i watched this the first time and i'm like i don't understand what mm -hmm. the controversy i don't think there's anything that says he's doing anything weird um and then Silvana got mad at me actually 
because she's like, <laughs> I think she thought it, I was uh, being that. You were almost like trying to defend yourself in a way. I she think was, she, she was, was like, going like 10 steps mm. ahead. She's like, that's sus if you don't think that's what the Yeah, kids she's use. like, fuck right. you. Right, she's yeah, like, what if, if I surprise you one time? Then you're sus. And it's like, I, don't, I just don't <laughs> see anything. Like, this guy wasn't doing anything. What Let's about watch the phone it. Let's grab? Watch it. Yeah, I need to see this. I think I don't I've seen see, the I, don't, memes. I don't see the phone grab. I've watched it. Like, I kind of see what they're saying. I don't see anything weird. So this thing's been dissected like the Zapruder film. Like, people all right, are... All right. Slow mo everything. And Dude, I've had that, to do it slow mo because I like had to be like, "Whoa, there. what's happening?" And everyone's making it, it's probably the most viral video that I remember we've had in in months. Yeah, and everyone's remaking it. Like it's the whole for you page is this. Yeah, so that's what I've seen like a million videos of is is the remake. Yes. I just thought like, oh, these are like funny college videos or some trend like colleges came up with. Didn't see the original. Now that I see it, is no one like, hey, there's four other dudes in there. And there's two, and there's another girl on the couch. It would be more sus if there was just him and one girl on the couch. But there's two other girls. There's on the couch. been theories the girl's like thumb is on his back. I think that was disproved. And then there's the whole like he he took his phone back or something is another theory mm -hmm. that she had his phone. But that doesn't make sense. Like even if you're cheating, why are you holding each other's phones? That's not something that happens. I don't think. I just don't. If the guy's truly caught off guard. Like I could see myself sitting there being like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" And then gets up and hugs her. I don't. I, I honestly don't get it. I but I, I feel like if he was in the wrong, it would have been a very different reaction. Or this man is the smoothest criminal of all time. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way he's just so like nonchalant about it when she comes in. If he was like hooking up with that girl right beside him. Do we have slow mos of the phone grab? We need some slow mos. We need some. So slow -mos. by the way, Josh, I you haven't seen it, but we, when I say we, we're in the extreme minority. Like everybody is saying, wake up, he's cheating on you. What, is that how you felt? No, no. I mean, all of his friends knew that she was coming. They're in the apartment with him. I don't think they would set him up to be cheating on her when she's coming to visit him. But that's new information, right? That they knew she was yeah, coming. That's new. And, and people are also saying they're making it up maybe just to like defend him. But yeah, I, I don't know. It was uh, the way people are studying it. And I guess it's TikTok. You never know what's going to go crazy viral. Yeah. But this has gone crazy viral. We, we needed this guy here. We needed couch guy. I, yeah, we almost had him. Yeah. I, I want to hear things. what he has to say. Not really That's the girlfriend. That's what I mean. Yeah. I also, no disrespect to them, they don't seem like the quarterback of the football team and the captain of the cheerleading team. Like, Type I don't know. They seem like a little right. wholesome couple. I, I don't, I, I just didn't see anything that weird with more, it. More like a mathlete couple going on. Yeah, here. they're mathlete couple. Yeah, they're <laughs> mathletes. Yeah, I mean, I are we looking for anything? Have here? it in their their vocabulary to cheat. You know, I don't know if that's a mathlete. I mean, I'm sure mathletes cheat. Like math camp, I'm sure is like crazy. I feel like the math the you math think kids math are the camp, horniest They're just going people. at it with each other. I'm yeah. just going by like American Pie. Was Band that kids are always camp? like the little yeah. horny. They're guys. little freaks, eh? They they've been it's been so pent up in them since high school. They're just like, oh, now we're at mathlete in college. We're just gonna go nuts. Yeah. Are you getting the... No, I have... We can go slow-mo on it. We have the video. Right, so so let's, let's go slow-mo. So right. watch now. There's a fo there's a controversy about the phone grab. Right, They're we'll saying like... So watch his arm right here. This His right arm. Leans in and grabs the phone. And then he has the phone in his hand. I'll what go slow he, on whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. But it's in that other hand. Yeah, what if it's just on his like hip? No, the girl has it. He leans forward like this. Look at his other hand. We don't have confirmation What's he of the putting girl down right it? there. I don't know. It's not the phone though. Okay, he's putting something down. Look, leans forward. His other hand goes around his cross body, and then he comes out with the phone. Boom, phone. What if he would? Oh, that's a smooth move, bro. Like, yeah. You see that? What Look, leans just, forward, grabs just, it from the girl. Yeah, but the phone. So what does why? That mean? Who says the girl has the phone? Could be in between. Yeah, why can't just I be behind, it's on his between hip. them? Like the phone is, if he gets up and doesn't grab the phone, doesn't the phone just fall to the floor? Fall, yeah. And look, he's smiling. He he's smiling. Her. And listen, I have the girl that they're saying he cheats with. And the fact I have this on my phone, <laughs> but I do because I had to like justify my take. 
Like, this is the girl's face, and only Brie can see it right there. That's not like a, oh, my God, we got busted face. That's like, hey, what's no, up? she's like, oh, my gosh, your girlfriend's here. Yeah, yeah. come on. So this is much, and again, 100% of the internet was basically against this couple. The whole entire internet, yeah. People just love to hate. I, yeah, I think they, they just, just dissected it too suffer. much, and I feel bad for the girl. Imagine being what that was girl. girl. What was on his t-shirt? Taking it well. I don't know. She's probably crying herself to sleep. The whole internet saying your boyfriend's cheating on you and that you're an idiot. That sucks. Yeah, that's got to that's got to put just like bad thoughts. Do in we have mind, the no publicity? What. So the, the girl went on one of our podcasts. I guess I don't know. They canceled on us. That's bullshit. Absolute. It's funny because five minutes before that video was taken, Robbie was actually in his room and the guy in the striped shirt like he knew i was coming and getting there soon so he had to go into robbie's room and say like oh come out we want to play like games with mm. you have a seat like we're gonna play a game with you like yeah <laughs> that's what everyone needs to hear <laughs> what is the deal with the hair tie on the wrist so the hair tie on his wrist <laughs> is actually our magnetic bracelet. Oh, is that what he put bracelet. down? No. So I got him those magnetic bracelets for, I think, Valentine's Day last year. I have a white one on my wrist right here. It was just And he has wrist. a black one. And if people are looking more into his wrist, he also has like a little friendship bracelet that I also made him on his wrist if people want to go after that too. <laughs> Clarify where the phone came from, who so handed it to him. My, yeah, I guess one of my mistakes by saying it was in his lap was mm. people couldn't see that it was actually like on his lap, but it was like, what I meant by on his lap was like, it was in between his legs, like on the couch, I guess you could say. Yeah. Even like you said, even if there was a phone pass, like I don't understand how that proves that he was cheating. Also, the girl sitting next to him has her own boyfriend, so like more uh, context. That's good to know. Well, that doesn't mean <laughs> dick. Oh my god, that doesn't mean dick. No phone pass. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that means like nothing. That. No, I'm doesn't. scrolling through my requests on Instagram. Like this morning, I got a request saying like, "Go kill yourself." Oh, that's god. not a request. That's more a statement. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she means it's like a message a request. request. A message like request. It was requested yeah, that's crazy. And, and by the way, it, uh, the phone now it, it is in, it's like on his chair in between. Yeah, if it's he like gets right up, here. yeah, it falls down. And I, why would they have? Even if you are cheating, you wouldn't with the person you're cheating anyways. Give them your phone. I, this is I've never been more There's right. Too many about holes. Anything. There's way too many no, holes. Too also, dissected. like. What I'm gonna I'm gonna brand myself with the girl I'm cheating with. I'm 100%. gonna put her hair tie on my wrist. Like, and then that's it's just, it's a love like it's a love bracelet. They seem like a really cute couple. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's mathlete couple. They don't get up to this. This is an American uh, Pie. Though. That part I don't know. I think some. I did do. think that American Pie is real life. I I just can't. <laughs> All right. So this obviously went. What Tana have to say? Tana. She's on opposite side of us. Well, everybody on TikTok out here talking about that bitch showing up to college to surprise her, man. And I swear to God, if I ever show up anywhere and you're on a couch with three bitches and you don't even stand up to fucking speak to me, I am fucking your father. Who are you saying? What? <laughs> Who's that guy? Her boyfriend. That's her boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Who's that guy? Um, he's, he's like raps a little. He's into music. Like he listens to music and sings no, he, along he, type deal? No, he raps. What do you mean he raps? Do you know who that is, Josh? Doesn't he? Isn't his name Chris and he raps? Yeah. You're just sounding like you're making it sound like, oh, it's Chris and he Chris listens Miles. to like fucking rap music. No, he's like not as big. It's not as big as Tana. Chris Miles, American rapper, right? I think he raps in the same vein that we sing songs when you're in a car. I don't think he's progressed to being a rapper. No, he has songs. Well, you so, does the, so does the white rapper. Dave has a song. Yeah. I have a song. I have a rap song. I have a rap song that's probably more listened to than anything he's ever Do you guys produced. want to listen to it? At this point, Taylor Swift gets all of our money from the, the couch guy, so we can't monetize, so we can play anything. Oh, true. Let's, I actually do want to I mean, I, I, think, I think even better, like, what about the Dave and, uh, what, oh, I keep forgetting her name, T.T. Smokes or whatever the hell her name is. Tico Texas. T.T. Smokes. That, now, that's, now that's, a, that's a song. All right, here's Tana's boyfriend's well, yeah, they, song. Yeah, we, those two different. This is the boyfriend song. Yeah. Get out of my bed. Thousand views. It has 1,479 yeah. views. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it's yeah. not big. Uh -huh. Moving too fast, everybody that, that, wanna catch me. Yes, yeah, you leave the crib, hand prints on the ass cheek. Oh, that sounds like that dude. Uh, he sounds like, um, 
Kid Leroy. Yes. Oh yeah, that was actually. He doesn't. I didn't think it was going where it was going, but it kind of was. But I mean, that has Kid Leroy vibes. One thousand four hundred and seventy nine views. That you're you're not a rapper. Yeah, no, you're aspiring. He's just waiting. You're aspiring. Aspiring rapper. Mm -hmm. He's she's dating an aspiring rapper. Mm -hmm. Like still softish as like then. I mean, was that how many views? Yeah, it's like it's it's like forty mil on YouTube. What if I told you that the boyfriend was on America's Got Talent? Aspiring rapper. Right. He was. He just he's just waiting for that moment, bro. He just needs that one song. Do you, you? There has to be some definition, right? You can't just say that's like me. I, I I'm a baseball player. Kid rapper Chris Miles and ex Justin Bieber. That's a real headline. He he sounded good. Yeah, he did. Oh yeah. Yeah. So what? Do, when can you classify yourself as a rapper? When you have a hit? When you're making a living doing it. Okay. When you're making a living, then you're a rapper. I think that's fair, no? Yeah, because then rapping's just a hobby if you're not Correct. making money off of yes. it. Yes. Okay. We all agree there? Yeah, so Tana's yeah. aspiring rapper boyfriend. That's who yes. that is. Um, TikToker dissects the video. Okay, so right Correct. at the pause, may be you dissect. can see a thumb on his back. She comes in. Girl scoots. Nope, that's the then guy's she watch. Scoots again to get further away and her hand comes up i don't see the scoot either her hand's on his back these people are disgusting yeah why are you ruining this poor relationship and, and nothing happened unfortunately i've spent a lot of time because i had to like prove my <laughs> case to nothing's yourself? there yeah no i think it's just stupid i feel bad for the girl yeah, no, they, I mean, she's literally, like, she was laughing through the pain in that interview. She but was like, yeah. She was. <laughs> it says here at the bottom, she's making money. She's selling Couch Guy t-shirts, so good for her. But they also, oh, fuck. They oh, want yeah. to take a break off social media. That's why they don't want to come on the pod. That's just fact, is what she said. So Too bad. Too bad. Young mm. love. Maybe um, it's getting to them. All right, moving on. So, so it turns out I'm right there, and I'm actually probably owed an apology by, uh, <laughs> you know who, for like, or the sus, whatever. I was right. Most guys have tried different ways to last longer, but thinking about baseball doesn't always work. Folks at Roman Online Men's Health Company are changing the game with Roman Swipes, the secret to longer-lasting sex. Saying the Pledge of Allegiance backwards from 10 doesn't always work. Roman, slides, Roman Swipes are a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. Effective, easy to use, fast-acting, don't require prescription. Roman can swip swipes you discreet, unmarked packaging. Each swipes pack is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. Super easy to use. Just take the swipes out of the packet, swipe it on, let it dry. You're good to go. Let it dry, and you're good to go. Go to GetRoman.com slash BFF. Get your first month of swipes for just 5 bucks when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash BFFs. Um, <laughs> TikTok oh, NFTs are here. Should BFF sell an NFT? What would it be? So um, I, I still do not get NFTs, and we're supposed to have Banks on this podcast. I'm going to get him on. I know he came. He doesn't. We got to move the time of this too, Josh. Even more, you think? Oh, we yeah. already moved it. Yeah, now it's at say, one. Yeah, we, one thirty. Yeah, my brain. I, I feel like we're at a. I feel like this is this is a good time now. Like. If you can't make it at ten thirty, that's hey, that's pretty. Yeah, but or even like if we're doing ten, if we're doing uh ten thirty to twelve slots, that means people the guests can come in at eleven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do we? Uh, so I don't even know what we're talking about here. I guess what I don't know that uh, NFT of ours would sell a ton. It's hard to tell our audience. Like, is our I sold one NFT. I sold the pizza review NFT. It was just a pizza review that we said it's an empty. You put the code in, all that jazz. Sold for like 140 grand to a guy in Taiwan. But I don't know what? that our crowd. Can you explain? Because like me and a lot of people listening do not know what an NFT is. So as far as I understand, it's just digital mm -hmm. art. And with the blockchain, you have a way to basically authenticate. It can't be replicated. So you create it. Okay. And it, I, I describe it as if you buy the Mona Lisa or a famous painting, right? you know which one's the real one. You can get fakes of it and prints that are worthless, basically, but the actual one is in the eye beholder. Caught in, so and it's the is one worth, and only. Yeah, worth, okay. caught, it is worth a fucking shit ton of money. It's basically art for the internet. Okay. 100%. That's kind of yeah. cool. But like, can't you just like screenshot it? Yeah, but yeah, that you would could, be the same you thing don't. like you can screenshot the Mona Lisa. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I could go. I could go take a picture with my phone of the Mona Lisa right. if I really wanted to. It's it's like you don't own it, right? right? So it's about actually having that 
that piece. Like right. you can go to any any art museum and go and stare at the painting all day long, but it's different when you have it in your house. And, and to be honest, beyond that, you could probably get the Mona Lisa hanging on your wall that 99.9% .9 of the people will not know that's not the real Mona Lisa, but you know it. And you, like exactly. the person who has it has the real. That's really it. it it's, it's basically art and collectibles coming to the internet and things that's like wire baseball cards or like I, a famous baseball card, I can recreate that now and have it, but it's not the real thing. Yeah. So it, yeah. it's that's it. Um, and people are making fucking shit tons on it. Yeah, a little Nas doing the first one. So that's that's NFTs 101 from uh, BFFs. Zoe Laverne puts newborn behind paywall. Zoe Laverne, <laughs> the former queen of TikTok musically before Charlie. This name rings a bell, but I don't really know who we've, she was. We've talked about her a lot before. Talk, she, yeah, yeah. She was she was like she I, I don't know if we talked about her on on this pod when this happened, but she was like crying because Charlie passed her and followers mm -hmm. like was like sitting kind of down and like at an event in a corner being like I'm the queen of TikTok not her kind and she like just that. went through like all this drama I think we also talked about like she was with like a 13 year old remember when we were talking she about that 19. and there was the there was like Yikes. the 13 year old that was uh very kind of, controversial like, he was saying like he was, this girl. yeah it was a very controversial thing like the 13 year old was like the victim in this situation she was and, kissing him and, yeah kissing there was all this stuff so then we came at, remember do you remember the shit Dave or no well, yeah vaguely I 13 is awful young for a 19 year old oh yeah super fucked up and now she then she got pregnant and now she had the baby and she put him on like OnlyFans so you have to buy to see I, the baby uh, so and people are mad about this <laughs> why would people be this is again talking about technology moving like the old trick in the book is selling like celebrities would sell their photos of their first child to like People Magazine so what's different to this yeah that's true but people are just like, you're selling your baby. Your baby doesn't have like... But they sell those pics. I, I feel like the Kardashians did that. Or like, kind of like they sell the first pictures for a shit ton of money. Who fucking cares? The baby. Right. I mean, baby's got to eat. Baby needs new shoes. Baby's got to eat. That true. is true. You got to put gotta food eat. on the table. And she's not that's, really probably making important. any money off brand deals anymore because she's controversial. Right. So maybe she has to do if, this. If I... Listen, I have no problem with that. Zero. Putting the baby... That well, The baby's not going to be scarred. Um, you know what? So you how just do we gotta, get like, the picture? A little bit of the Someone money to the baby. No, that, yeah, you know they saying? must have screenshotted it. Oh, okay. Or something from the wow. Or she posted or, on she posted on Instagram, but she posted on OnlyFans first. Do you guys have a problem with that move? I mean, I <sighs> newborn like here you got to. Well, pay. all right. Let let's let's fast forward. If you're like sixteen or twenty, whatever age, your parents are like, we made bank by putting your first pictures on OnlyFans. I'd be like. Nice. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Right, right. I guess, yeah, if my parents told me that, I'd probably been like, okay, where's my cut? Yeah. Yeah. Say, all right, like let's go shopping. You're a fucking baby. It's uh, also like a fan exclusive site, like Patreon sort of thing. Like, it's not necessarily that you're like trying to sell the photos, but it's like you're giving your fans who support you enough to give you money early yeah. access into your life. I know for a fact celebrities have sold pictures of their yeah. kids to like paparazzi magazine so this is no different to me it doesn't really hurt anyone no i guess it's like no different than like a gofundme either right yeah to a degree i mean like i mean uh, well if if, <laughs> if if there was a social i mean but like are you telling me you wouldn't see a viral tr like video on tiktok of someone trying to raise a baby and they're like i don't have the funds oh, yeah, for it. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. go to my gofundme like i'm sure that and like people would have had a total different reaction then you know um yeah. I'm very nervous about this, and I'm going to gloss over it. Viral TikTok stories and trends. Netflix show Squid Game. I watched the first episode last night, so I don't want to read this because I don't want to spoil it. Am I going to spoil it? I've only also watched one episode. This, I have not watched any. This doesn't spoil it. No, it doesn't spoil any it's of it. It's just a game that is played on it. That's not a spoiler. Though. I'm, I'm skipping over it. I'm skipping over it. I watched Squid Game. No it's a trend. It's, it doesn't spoil anything. Okay. No, we have I to promise talk about it. it. Doesn't. It's, it's huge. So there's like a there's a game within the, the show. The first show is awesome. Yeah. The first episode. Mm -hmm. So I'm like all in on it. It's real it doesn't really get that much crazier I hear, but I thought you just watched the first episode. No, my roommate watched it, it all. Oh, see. It gets a thousand times see, crazier. What are you guys the, talking what, about? Wait, time out. Now, now we're kind of exactly spoiling shit. Why a little I didn't bit. want to talk about this subject. Okay, no, let's no, just no, talk no, about no, the no, chat. No. Because <laughs> nobody can be trusted in this room. I said I didn't want to talk about it and we started talking about what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna do that. We are not doing this. So what happens with the cookie? What happens with the cookie? See, no, don't. No. <laughs> it's just but, a, it's just a trend that's on TikTok. It's important like important question, no, Dave. Are guys, you, I keep seeing this cookie everywhere. I don't know. I don't understand why there's a cookie everywhere. Are you watching it in in English dubbed or are you watching it in Korean with subtitles? Okay, because well, that's a big debate. Well, 
Okay. Korean with subtitles is better. No, no, no. I'm glad you brought that up. And I don't want to keep going this. Because this is another major dispute at the Portnoy household currently. Silvana is a lunatic and watches everything with subtitles. Everything. She turns them on 24-7. Mm-hmm. And it gives me Weird. a fucking headache to the point we got in another mini fight because Succession is my favorite show, HBO. And I'm like, just heads up. We're not watching that <laughs> with subtitles because I can't. My brain. Because you te- want to read the subtitles. I tell it can't not look. to look at the subtitles. I want to watch it normally. So this fast forwards, we're watching it. And we got so confused because she always has the subtitles on. So I'm like, is this an ink? Is Are we doing this totally wrong? Is this supposed to be in Korean and there's always subtitles of the show? Or are they speaking in off English in their subtitles? I don't know what the what <laughs> setting zero is. This is a lot for you. you can't, this is like a lot really for him. Into it. What is See, setting zero for that show? Setting zero is, is English only because it's on English Netflix. But setting zero is... Is Korean with the no, English subtitles? You're wrong. It's the no, native no, time language. Out, time out. If I go into Netflix and just press watch like I do anything else, how am I consuming this? That is English, but it's wrong. It's gonna be dubbed. Yeah. How can it be wrong if Netflix put it like that? Thank though? you, Josh. Because you're on the English Netflix. It doesn't well, matter. Right. So then for us, watch it like every other American is watching. Yeah, for no, us, no, no, that no, no, would no, make no. sense. A- then everyone is watching. There's been polls about this. This is a very like heated debate. The Overwhelming majority watch it in Korean with English subtitles. That's just fact. Yeah. You ever see like, Parasite? Yeah, same thing. No, yeah. not the same thing because Why? you I, you watch Parasite, how Parasite delivers it to you. Yeah, you but, don't have to change settings. But it's it's right. deli- like it's delivered in Korean, so you would watch it. No, you watch it how they give it. If I walk into a if I if if Squid Game was in the movies and I walk I bought a ticket and walked into a theater, how is it how am I watching it? That's how I want to watch it on my Netflix. It's like the uh, it's like the Marvel movie that just came out. What's it called? Chang Chang Chi or something like that. Shang Chi like, or something like that. You yeah, guys know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yes. There's there's a bunch of it's not always in English, but it's given to you where it's like, here you go, watch this movie. A lot of it's in there English. There is no it. way. The dub it's, doesn't it's, bother you though. You don't. Everything bothers me, but that's because Silvana watches everything with subtitles. It's crazy. I've never. I can't seen watch it. subtitles. It just wrecks the show. I know what's going to happen before they even Imagine say it. Imagine watching just, like, subtitles lie. on things that don't. The, just everything? No, she the, watches it on English, everything. The English, that's crazy. A lot of my friends do that too, and I do not understand. It, that. it makes it. Like, well, I'm headache. not trying to read. I'm not trying to read when I'm watching TV, or else I would go read a book. And like, not only do I not want to read, it is it's before, and I'm trying to ignore it, and my eyes are too smart for my brain. So it's like, wait, what's going on? I, it, it gives me a headache. We got a legit, yep. lot of stupid arguments. <laughs> She basically was like, fine, then I won't watch Succession with you. It's like, what are you talking about? That's my favorite show of all time, basically. I'm not going to... It's going into season, what, three or four? I'm not going to have subtitles. Does Silvana watch Man. Squid Game in dubbed or with well, subtitles? Well, that's what we got in a thing. We didn't even... I didn't even know... That that was an option? No, I didn't know where we started because the subtitles were already on and it was doing this broken... It's like the English isn't even... First of all, what they're saying in English doesn't even... Add, the subtitles are like different. Yeah, it is. It's different. Well, that's because it's closed caption versus like... There's two types of English subtitles. One's closed caption, which is like AI generated, and one is like the one that Netflix puts out. So that might... If you turn off the CC, which is default, you'll have better subtitles, but you still should not be able to watch it in dubbed. Like, you have to watch it in Korean. It's just... That, but Korean... Makes the the if they wanted you to watch it in Korean... They do. Then, then why didn't they give it, it to us that way? That'd be... Okay, so the zero. show was released Netflix, like in Korean Netflix. Like, it, the Korean version of Netflix, right? They have it in Korean there. But because you are listening to it or watching it on the English version, like you are under a United States, like, IP address when you're watching it, it puts it in do English you, for you. Do you think that... That Joe Netflix doesn't didn't think about it. They obviously like we're leaving it this way. Well, because they, they think they probably actually put some thought into how they want it totally. delivered. They're Netflix because they they know, know there's people dumb enough that don't want to listen to watch the show it the way it's intended. It is a better experience when you do the subtitles. Like dubbing always like ruins it because it's not the same. But that's like we have the subtitles. No, 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 Korean, Korean with but with English, English subtitles. We have English subtitles and English, and I. Oh, you, I, you, you're do, double timing it. You're dubbing it and 
Yes, that's it. how we watched it. That's ridiculous. Yeah. They're they're going they're going to not only is it the dubbed and subtitles, but the subtitles are different than the dub. But that, that's that crazy, leads Dave. to my original question when we're watching it. I'm like, are there supposed to be subtitles? Is it because it was English with? But we always have the subtitles on. Okay, for that one, you need to turn the subtitles off and then just dub it. You can't do both. Well, we do both, and that's what I'm saying. The words don't add. What they're saying is not even what is being written below <laughs> they're it, they're saying one thing in english and writing another in english but i absolutely refuse to believe most people are watching this the other not ev- there's no way the majority <laughs> of people on netflix are going into their settings and changing to korean no way you know why i think people are though is because the anime like people always watched their like i feel like the hardcore anime viewers watch it in its native language and then put English subtitles instead of watching the dubbed version. Yeah, of the and anime. the dubbed voices just don't doesn't do it justice. The emotions. I mean, aren't if the I'm same. watching anime, there's no way I'm wa- I'm watching the dubbed version. Like, there's no way I'm not watching it in English. I'm like, that's 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 my stance. There's no way I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna watch a show I'm not gonna understand. The comments are gonna, gonna do it. crucify you, Dave. I'm telling you, like they're gonna be like you're just watching it incorrectly. Time it's, out. They I, shouldn't crucify me. I'm not. Well, I'm in a world of hurt in how I watch TV right now. I almost need two I mean, TVs. Well, hey, just the consumer. Dave's just the consumer. If anyone, it's it's it's. Well, Joe he's Netflix the only person watching it dubbed with subtitles. Well, but that's because I'm watching it with a lunatic in how she watches TV, <laughs> where everything is subtitled. He's she, a victim to Chicky. He's a victim to Chicken or or whatever. He called yeah, it. Dave's just a victim Chicken, in yeah. this situation. It is crazy. Yeah, it, I yeah. watched the first episode. Very good. I'm into it. I can't wait to watch it. I'll say the obvious. Right now, it just seems like Hunger Games, but whatever. I'm just pretending that's not the case, but fine. Um, you should watch it, Josh. It's good. Okay, Takis are back. And I can be honest, when they did this in Miami house, they've won over fans. Now I always have Takis in my apartment. Um, Sylvana loves the these Fuego ones. And now they got these new crisp ones, deliciously crispy, perfectly stackable and perfect for snacking on the move. With two canister size, you can just pop the lid, unleash a flavor so wild, it'll have you begging for more. I do eat them in the house, but it's, uh, you good. can travel. Yeah, they are, very good. So yeah, Takis, can you face the intensity? Try and find out. I like these, solid. I gotta see if they have them at CBS. That's where I get mine, they're right in the front. Um, Taki Chris, Fuego, get them. Thank you for sponsoring the show, and they got a new uh, customer. All right, Salmon Meal taking over TikTok. Emily Mariko has gained 3 million followers in the last 30 days, has over 63 million likes across her entire account since her salmon meal on TikTok blew up, is now selling out the ingredients in stores. Emily's viral meal has gained over 23 million views. Her entire account has blown up. Different recipes. I saw, we tried to get her on the show. She didn't reply. Yeah, this is like unseen. second to co- Couch Guy. Okay. Um, I, let's see what this is. So it's very peaceful. Looks video. great. Looks great as fuck. But it's like, how does that? How does that? How does that continuously blow up? It seems like a pretty, like, you got it. You got it. One video. I know exactly what to do. Yeah, it wasn't overly hard. I and it looks very good. But I don't. Um, yeah, I, I don't get it. But I don't get anything. It looked very good. <laughs> it did look really. There's good. nothing unique. I don't like or salmon gross though. So it. I'm like, uh... it sold out. The seaweed sold out. The seaweed chips or whatever yeah. that she used. Yeah. It kind of turned you, you into guys a never couch ate guy. Those as a kid? People remake it. You guys never had those packages of seaweed in your lunch? My mom used to pack those in my lunch when I was younger. Oh, I never so had those, gone. but they're on sushi all the time. Um, a like little seaweed. Brian Laundry, TikTok dog, the bounty hunter. Uh, after TikTok helped locate Gabby Petito's body, you have been trying to find Brian Laundry. People are, this is blowing up all over the place. Um, oh, not Brian Laundry. Looks exactly like Brian Laundry, huh? That sucks. 
That really sucks. He's like the most wanted man, and you're walking around looking exactly like him. I'm uh, pretty convinced he's dead. You think he's dead? You yeah. think he's dead as well? I think he killed himself, yeah. Okay. Well, why, why do you think that? He hasn't been found. I, I don't know. It's like, it's so obviously him. What are you going to do? Well, no, well, yeah, no, it's no, no shit. It's him. Do you think he fled the country, though? Like, do you think he got out? I know. Do you think he, like, actually I, I, made I it out? I think the internet is too big for somebody like that to just go off the grid totally. And the pressure of it, I, I just think he probably took his own life. I could be wrong. I mean, no. But, like, I he mean, is just a normal been... guy. Is he smart enough to, like, get out of the country without anyone finding him? No, I don't think, I don't think anybody can yeah. theoretically. But I, I don't know if I'd really call him a normal guy if he's going to kill his... Well, not normal, normal, normal that regard, not normal, but, yeah. but like not right. Like, like you obviously have to think in a different fucking way for you to like be able to do something that evil. So it, I wouldn't be surprised if you thought about it more deeply than just like maybe I'm had just a plan get to get out. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, what if not, this was? By well, all remember accounts, when he's not super loaded? Remember so. when he left his car and to like um, I don't know to make police think he was somewhere, and then he went live on accident, like in the middle of the ocean. He was like fleeing then, so maybe he got away. I didn't even know that happened. To me. Yeah, he accidentally went live and like. How do you? How, do you, how the fuck live? do you accidentally go live for like two seconds? And he was like in in Florida or something in the middle of the ocean, on a boat. Huh. I didn't even know I could do that. Yeah. Uh, how do you even go live from the middle of the ocean? Yeah. How do you <laughs> have know. service? That makes no sense. But I'm calling bullshit. No, it's real. It was real. I swear. How do you get service? We, I don't get service in like my apartment. How does he have service yeah, in I the know. middle of the ocean? You, you can't, I don't know. Well, I, he I just showed water and people were speculating that he was like fleeing in the middle of the ocean. What but if he, he was did go pool? live. It was his account unless he got hacked. What do you mean he showed water? It was like, Kareem, can you pull it up? Like, like well, he could have been in a bathtub. No, no, no. It was, oh, it was the ocean. He was it was just swimming ocean. in like a pool or something. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if there's ever been more people in the world that have all been collectively looking for someone. It this, was just right? that. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's just crazy how everyone on TikTok knows this guy's face. Dog the bounty hunters. It was us. that for two seconds. I, do I don't think it's real. It. I yeah. do not believe it. It was his account on Instagram. I don't believe it. Yes, yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> um, a pledge named Briggs at UNC is unintentionally blown up on TikTok. It is unconfirmed, but assumed one of Briggs' pledge duties is posting TikTok dances. TikTok has become obsessed with them. Hashtag- we need to get this guy. We need to get this guy on the podcast. I did ask I him. He to said ask. no. Why are these Damn. fucking people saying no? Yeah, what's know, he got to hide, bro? Why did he say no? He said he had like an exam this week or something. That's not a real answer. That's the most I'll read lame the exact, answer ever. exact message. I did try to get him on. He said, I have a loaded work and test schedule this week and next week. Maybe at some point we could work something out. That what this guy like, this guy literally doesn't have an hour. You're telling me he's not going to do anything but study every single second of his life. For Maybe the next we two can weeks? work something out. Who is this kid? I have no idea. I who did he is. say it would only be ten to fifteen minutes over Zoom. So this kid sucks. Let me see this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely be like this. This kid. Yep. We're getting no's from this guy. I want to hate him. I don't hate him. I don't <laughs> hate him like at all. like a little cutie pie. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't hate him at all. I watched, I actually, after I saw that video, I think that was the first video I saw of him. I watched every video. He looks 14. He, he reminds me of Tommy. I was just going to say, Tommy smokes. Yeah. Oh, my God, he does. Yeah. Same vibes. On my side of town, that lonesome feeling comes to my door. The whole world turns. Okay. I mean, whatever. I, I mean, like, I just, I can't tell. Sometimes you're better off not likes, coming on a show like this because he, he like could ruin it for himself. Right, he's got it going right. good. Yeah. What, what? He needs that little like mystery factor yes. about himself. Yeah, nobody like, knows. Like, what like, he is this kid like. self aware? Is he not self aware? But that kind of adds to it. The unknown of being self aware kind of adds to it. Uh, next, Brie, New York Post. Brianna's New York Post piece released on Sunday. Reddit get all these different. I don't know why they dress you up in all these fancy. <laughs> outfits they did I, I was like surprised it was all crazy outfits so what's cool. the reaction been it's been good yeah wait what i'm confused though did they reach out to you and erica 
Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Okay. So I didn't actually reach out to me if you were wondering. <laughs> also, this quote makes no sense. She has guested on her. Yeah, on his right? own talk about my port and I told the po- the, the post of uh, that takes guts to drop out of school I it told me she's serious about creating content then they say she has guested on his own podcast BFF several times but I was like what was that line yeah that was just wow they, they wow they were I guess they didn't see I guess they didn't see the new name no under the logo she has guested on it brand. several times what I've also fuck? had a couple yeah, people say that you're gonna like die on this tour that you're on yeah I'm we not though I'm not free jumping off roofs just one huh. roof. Just one roof. Had to get the shot for the video. And you're, are you just puking in a million videos too? Yeah, it's kind of like a thing. Yeah, that's that, like that's a your tough thing. thing just thing throwing to be up. Known for yeah, just <laughs> right. Puking. That's that's not a great <laughs> move. Where was this? Um, you Miami. You Miami. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, chicken fry fan in Miami gets asleep when you're dead tattoo. This was crazy. She That's ran up hard. to me on the street, but it was like on her. Are you vagina. getting credit for sleep when you're dead? <laughs> Kinda. It's pretty good. I think that's been around for. Like it has ever. been around forever, but I just started. Yeah, yeah, like but you you kind of owned it. it. Yeah. Huh. And Holy. she says, "Is that chicken fry? She's got the fucking sleep when you're dead." Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. And then we got a mini music video. Oh, God, we're watching this. Seems like we are. I, I've we don't seen have it already. To. We don't no, have we have. To. Well, this is yours. Yeah. So what do you mean we got to watch it? You put it on TikTok. I know, but like, we didn't have to watch it. You actually put it on TikTok for everyone to see. That's what I saw. Yeah, it. so you can't be, oh, yeah. we're going to watch it on BFS. Oh, don't watch the video I posted. Oh, I I'm know, so I know. Okay, whatever. No, you're trying to show off. Come on. No, that that's good. Like People love the music videos. 90, 1990s, like, music video. Yeah, it's fun. I'm going to do a little music video on each tour stop. Okay. I was going to say, is that going to be like a little thing you do? Yeah, because it blew up, up. So I was throwing like, I have to do it on every school. And Growing then, up can be your first thing, music video number two. Yeah, yeah. And then we already talked to us a little bit, but Josh in the office without oh, yeah. Bree and I even knowing it. And this is Kareem's favorite move, I feel like, or somebody's. <laughs> They're always sitting in my desk. Like that. Oh. That. Who that told was, you to do that? That was definitely a little. That, I mean. Yeah, yeah, Kareem, Kareem kind of told me. I have done that with a lot of people. <laughs> it's like but, that. That is, it's almost. If you knew it, it's like everybody. Does it's it. numbies. Do you, if, did you not see? It was like our best intera- Instagram post in months. In the desk. Yeah. The video of him in here was pretty funny. Yeah, walking around with no. nobody there. I, I literally thought we fucked up. I was like, wait a minute. That's me too. Crazy. I was like, is Dave? I know you be texted there? me, Dave. You texted me. And you were like, you were like, how long have you known you're going to be at Barstool for? Yeah, because it obviously we're to plan to do shit. Um, you did the one bite frozen pizza review, which, by the way, overcooked. Who cooked that? That was hilarious. I, okay, okay, okay. Let's just talk about a couple of things. How, how can you overcook and undercook a pizza at the same time? Who said that? That doesn't make Who sense. Who said it was undercooked? Me, the person that is eating it, because it was literally, the, there was no bottom to the pizza. Like, the bottom had fallen off, so it was like. What'd you cook it in? It, it was very, uh, they cooked it in like a toaster. They oven. got, yeah, some weird ovens here. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. It, I don't think I got to like really. Well, I don't it was, think they it was did one of the, the pizza worst justice. pizzas that I've seen cooked of it, and I've <laughs> it seen funny. a little, ton of them. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you tease Black Brock Friday. We actually have, I think, the best merch that we've had coming out in a while. It's pretty oh, yeah. sick. Yeah, so that that's exciting. Um, Dave Shadow Band on TikTok. That's a fact. I believe in shadow banning. It's hundred. A lot of people true. don't believe in it, but it's definitely true. Like, what were your views used to be? be? Like, well, my views are going down, but it wasn't even on one of them. There were six comments after, like, hours. And, <laughs> yeah. and I commented where, and I never comment. I'm like, where are the comments? Still no comments. Yeah. So yeah. people can see it. Do you uh, get, do your videos get removed a lot? No. Does he get, like, I think it's probably, I, I have no idea. It could be bullying at one time. It, who knows? I mean, yeah. and the stuff that I'm in with Sylvana is going, like, very viral. Yeah, what, on your I mean, account couple, or just couple, hers? You couple don't post TikToks. It. What? Couple TikToks, Psh, bro, just up, up, up. She's she's a numbies machine. And the one on the plane right. was good. 
That was a funny one. One take by me. Superior. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the acting skills, Dave. Where'd those come from? A lot of people congratulate me on that. <laughs> a lot of people. Um, a lot of people congratulate you on your acting skills. Yeah, they're like, wow, that was fucking really, really good. That was sick. Uh, yeah. James Charles and Charlie Jordan both react to Dave's fuck up on Boomer Zoomer. Let's do the Charlie Jordan one first because I felt like this was extreme vindication for me. Like extreme. Wait, is you, that, you know we her. had her on the pod. Yeah. Charlie. <laughs> Jordan. So Dave, I can't be mad because I do see the resemblance. Me and James Charles, both bad bitches out here. Thank you very the much. The resemblance is striking. With the wig, yeah. Striking. <laughs> I hate to I hate to say, but I I disagree. Really? I thought you guys yeah. said you hate it, hate to agree. No, not real. I mean, like I want to be able to be like, yeah, Dave. No, yeah, yeah, obviously was, they don't was, look alike in but, real life. But the picture and then with that wig, like you could, I could see it. I mean, that's like saying, like, all right, let's put Brianna in a princess no, dress her and the face. blonde wig. She's gonna, she's gonna look kind of similar. Mm. Disagree. I don't know. Disagree. Oh. And now Zoomer Boomer, the original game. We had this in the beginning. We haven't played this in a while. Oh, I recognize her. Who do you think she is? Wait, is you, that, you know we her. had her on the pod. Yeah. Charlie. <laughs> Jordan. There's no way we got him twice. We got him twice. We got him oh twice. My we did. That's James Charles. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> oh, I know her. Madison Beer. I, but James is so pretty. Like. I really have no problem. With I, that. I love. I love how I do. I do like how it's like received. You know what I mean? Like everyone's receiving it as jokes, which is well, it is. Yeah. Well, because it's not James even is a joke. Like... I mean, I'm being serious, but I can see the resemblance. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Why Josh Richards should tap this. Because I have put together a wonderful presentation about why Josh Richards should tap this. <laughs> what is tap mean? <laughs> it is. I don't know. <laughs> he can easily blow out my back. What, where is this from? It's a TikTok. TikTok called Retirement House, like Sway House, but... Retired. Retired I was confused with the thing that's when sick. you were in like the class presentation. I feel like that's what I thought that was at first. Drew oh no! Hey, well, shout out, shout out, shout out my gilfs out there, bro. Yeah, I, I appreciate all my demos. You know what I'm saying? Um, David Dobrik and Karina Kumpf get flirty. This is just what they do, isn't it? Yeah, that's just Karina's that's what they thing. do. That's what they do. She always says that to him. Numbies. Um, I wonder if they've ever hooked up. Society of boomers could say Chip Tolley correctly. Society of boomers could say Chip Tolley correctly. Society of boomers could say Chip Tolley correctly. Socially, if boomers could say Chip Tolley correctly. Oh, that says society. It doesn't say society. It says Chip Tolley. <laughs> that goes back to how I said Chipotle. Uh, Dave, that Chipotle, is you. Chipotle, yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. great with words. I don't know if that's a boomer <laughs> zoomer or whatever. Um, questions. This is you. Do you read these? Where? Who reads these? Oh, yeah, I will. All right, so we have some fan questions. So you can tweet ask, hashtag AskBFFs for your question to be featured in the future. This one's from Lily. Uh, why do you think guests are afraid to come on the pod? <laughs> Biggest mystery, but I think people just think like, I think as news gets broken on here that people think we out things, but it's really like, it's really just whatever the guest wants to talk about. Yeah, and I don't know, I don't even know if afraid is the right word. It's hard to book guests if you don't have the personal, and I feel like we don't, it goes back to what I'm saying, we just don't put enough effort trying to book guests, and we have a higher standard for who we want, mm -hmm. so I think it's a combo of that, but I don't know if afraid is the right word. Yeah, I don't I don't really think people are necessarily afraid. Either. It's it's our timing. We're not overly flexible because everyone's schedules here are rough, so it's like you got to fit a uh, square into a round hole sometimes. Yeah, yep. very true. All right, next question from Jenna. A lot of the other Barstool podcast shows are starting to do live tours or shows. Would you guys ever consider going on tour? I don't know about tour, but I think we've all talked about like doing a, an event or and two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I think I think definitely two. more like stick to to an event or something. Yep, agreed. Yeah, coming in the future. All right, Mia, what TikTok do you think set up the best empire for themselves in the future? What TikTok? Er, it says TikTok, but I think er, it's supposed yeah. to say TikToker. Yeah, Addison Ray, right? 
one hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, Josh is yeah. definitely up there, but Addison would be my person right now. Yeah, she's like a real actress now. All right, Cody, what influencer are you the biggest fan of? Hmm. I don't know that call him an influencer, and it's like kind of before the social media wave, but I always. Uh, the skateboard kid was always, I thought, so good. Who, Who has the um, the show on MTV with the videos? Rob Deirdre. Rob Deirdre. Oh, he, he was an awesome. Uh, Not really. I mean, I don't know. He he was like a reality TV show guy, yeah. I guess. But he he kind of turned into an influencer. What about you, Josh? I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I don't. I don't even know who I'd pick. Like the person I'd pick is. I mean, I think I think Mr. Beast is like one of the most successful yeah. influencers. I think he's like somebody that's definitely set himself up right. So I, I would say probably I, I would put him there. And it's like, do they mean fan? Like, whose content do I enjoy consuming? Yeah, because I would I like um, Danny Duncan's content a lot. Yeah, he's good. I or like Cody Danny Co. Duncan. Yeah, yeah, I like I like Cody Co. A lot. I like watching like Cody Co. and Noel Miller's videos. Yeah, like some of my They're favorite videos on YouTube. All right. Um, last question from Jamie. Can someone tell Josh to change the smoke detector in his room? There's a constant beeping in the background. I have not noticed this. Bro, it wasn't even in my room. It was outside my room. So don't get on my head like was that. Was this like last episode? Yeah. And it's worth mentioning that light switch behind you. There's been thousands of comments saying you got to put a, a cover on that light switch. <laughs> Turn around. Yep. At one. Bro, does someone want to come in and like interior decorate my house? <laughs> like, holy shit, bro. Um, games, famous or hot. So this is just whether they're known for being Talented hot or, or hot. actually famous. Okay, yeah. I like this game. Sometimes it's confusing, I but I feel like I feel like there's no answer here that someone would really get angry about. Either you're just super hot or you're famous. Yeah. And this famous. Is a joke, oh, right? famous, <laughs> famous. He's kind of looking hot in that though. What's crazy? Wait. Seth Rogen. Rogen. Why is he on this game? This is the dumbest. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. Minute. Right. This was like Are the we easiest. playing the right game? Yeah. Famous I mean, or hot <laughs> Seth Rogen? just said he looks hot. No, but that's obviously a famous. It's Seth Rogen. He's famous for being well, funny. Are we setting this up for something coming? Like, there, there, there's like, no explanation of why Seth Rogen is on the famous or hot game. It is the most famous answer of all time. Nobody has ever been like, geez, that Seth Rogen's hot. Something is happening here. I can tell by Kareem's little grin. <laughs> nah, maybe start him out easy. I don't know. Next one. Famous. 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 Harry Styles. Oh, yeah. Harry Styles. Definitely famous. 100%. I'm waiting for I mean, he was famous before he was like a teenager. Oh, famous. Owen Wilson. Famous. 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 Yeah. Something's happening here. These are like ridiculous. Yeah, there's something's going dumb. on. Something's going on. Continue. MGK. Famous. 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 I mean, a lot of these are controversial. No, they're People not. Think there hasn't been one even controversial close. one yet. Not even a little bit controversial. Nope. They're not yet. Jason famous. Sudeikis. Famous. famous. This is the dumbest game we've ever a, played. This is the worst game we've It would have been played. a good game if it if it was hard to pick, like if it was I, hard I, to decipher. I think we're being like trolled. I'm waiting okay. for like so the punchline. Who the is end. somebody that you would go on the opposite side of? Who's hot? Like there are a lot of like. There's endless people. Yeah, like you could throw it, like you could throw Addison Ray in there, and you, you could debate if she's yeah. just famous for being hot or if she's actually right. talented. These ones are just they're these are, famous. These are the dumbest things. This is the famous. Famous. What are we doing? <laughs> people yeah, I'm think confused. Pete Davidson's hot. Who put yeah, this? Yeah, this, but, is, this is no, honestly you can be hot, hot and famous. He's, hot, because he he's funny. And there's not one human who's walking on the street being like, "Damn, that's a hot looking guy." Yeah, he's everyone not says only because he's Pete Davidson I, they think he's hot. I almost yes. Who put this? This is the, the dumbest, worst put together game. Every single one is the definition of people who are famous for being famous, not hot. This is crazy. Like Pamela Anderson. Yeah. Hot. Who? This hot. is this was crazy. Who's These are all just famous people. That's the whole game. <laughs> That's it. It's the worst game we've ever played. This <laughs> worst was, game. Uh, this should have just been. No, this should have just been. Are they, they famous and hot or famous? It had potential too. No. So I, I think I know what, what they were trying to do. So it's like Who's the Jack Har Devin. You put this together. Yes. It was teed up wrong. I tried to text Kareem during it because last week you guys argued about Jack Harlow. Like, oh, is Jack Harlow just hot because he's famous? So these are all like controversial people. Like people think Pete Davidson's hot. Is he hot because he's famous or is he hot just because he's hot? Okay, so we, so we were playing it wrong. We were yeah, supposed yeah, to be saying, yeah. 
If they Wait. weren't famous, would they be hot? So we were playing it wrong. Okay, all right. Let's restart then. Okay, Seth Rogen. It. Okay. He, he not hot. I don't think even yeah. famous. Yeah, yeah, I don't even think people these, think he's uh, hot. No, I don't think there's no. a big like craze about Seth Rogen. No, dude. definitely like, not. Yeah. No. So he's just. But all these people you guys all said were ugly. So it's like they're. You, aren't you just gonna? He's not. Harry okay, Harry Styles is hot regardless. Yeah, he's hot yeah, every he's day. He's a week. good looking guy. I Owen, think he's hot because he's famous, probably. But he's 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 a tough one. But he's, Owen Wilson he's not is bad a tough looking, one. though. Yeah, he's right. not bad. Looking. He's a tough one. I'm a, I'm getting. Who I get. I agree. This one, I would say the the famous part does it. But he could still, I think, pull a little bit if he wasn't famous. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Now this is yeah. a very different game. This yeah. is a very different game. MGK. Uh, I think he's hot either way. He pulls either way. He's tall, too, as fuck. And those tattoos, girls like that shit. He'd always have a market. I think, I it, think it just becomes much more of a niche market if he's not. I, I very yeah. agree. I think a lot of people think he's not that good looking. Okay. Um, he, he's this guy. He's good looking either way. He's the most average guy, though. Nobody is like. Yeah, nobody's drooling over correct. him. But yeah. if people do ever, drool if over him because ever, he's like, famous. A, a perfect seven out there or that's this guy yeah, this, you know what i'm saying like it's yeah. like he's not like the guy you're like taking a second glance at but he's not bad looking at all no he's his he, wife left him for harry styles there's 10 of him at every under 10 soccer game <laughs> right right this is a perfect example i would of, say not even close to hot i would yeah, say perfect 100 example of it's being hot famous. just because he's famous correct yes yes Persona swag, like troubled dude. That, yeah. Yep. All yeah. Right, that game was a game. little bit better. At first, I thought people had to get fired. Yeah, I was. I was like, come on, this was completely wrong. Like to lead with Seth Rogen. <laughs> and I mean, he's a funny guy. I like Seth Rogen. Okay, that was a little better. Ask the internet. You can buy this. Answer the internet. Yeah. What is one rumor, true or false, you'd want to spread about yourself? Huge dick. I was going to say. That's I feel like that, yeah. that's kind of like the go-to, right? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Huge dick. Okay, there we go. What's the most rewatchable like, TV awesome show? Or like awesome in bed. Huge dick doesn't mean like necessarily that you're great at fuck. True, true, I'd probably true, rather true. like he's the best fuck ever. Um, what's the most rewatchable TV? Uh, for me, it's The Office. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I love it. You don't like The Office, yeah. Josh? No, uh, I know it's it's a hot take, but just like never was able to be a fan of The Office. I think there's funny ass clips from it. Like I'll see them on Instagram. I'm like, huh, funny, but I just can't watch that show. I can Anyways, watch it. You gotta get over past most rewatchable over. TV show. Family Guy. That's easy. Family Guy is good. Similar sense of humor to me, but. Would you rather see everything that's occurred in the history of the world or everything that's going to happen in the future? Everything that's going to happen in the future. Don't we already know? Don't we have a history book to read? Yeah, but read? it's all bullshit. Um, I don't know. I feel like yeah. it would be tough to know the future. Can you act on it? Like, is it like uh, Back to the Future? If, like, I know the events, sporting events, so I can bet and become a zillionaire? If so, that's pretty cool. That's what I was thinking, too. But then, like, wouldn't you kind of, like, imagine all the conspiracy theories you can debunk and all the shit uh, you can figure out if you just go in the past, too? But would people believe Yeah, you? no one would believe yeah. you. I'd, I'd, I'll, take, I'll take proof. Yeah. I'm, going, I'm going back seen the history i'm gonna grab it okay. would you what? rather go into a coma and not wake up until you're 75 or die tomorrow die tomorrow yeah what's peace i don't want to come in at 76 i'm out 75 out yeah all right last one yeah which reality yeah. tv show would you be best on i don't know that i'd be good on any of them yeah. I run me with survivor bro i'll, I'll survive the shit out of that island no, I would be a dominant hard. mental player on Survivor till I didn't get a good night's sleep, and then I'd be. You a have puddle. to sleep on like the sand I with know. bugs. Maybe the Amazing Easy. Race. No, I'm not good with. Oh, other the language. challenge. What about the challenge? You guys ever watch that? Yeah, I think that would be my best one. I, I still want uh, to. I'd probably sleep. the Squid Game. I'd probably do right. the Squid Game. Yeah, go on there. Dominate. Okay, that's BFFs. Hopefully next week we have a gigantic guest for you. I don't know who it'll be, but hopefully we will. Is there any like uh, <sighs> people you want to call out to come on? I, I DM Drewski. Banks. Who? Drewski. Who's Drewski. I was thinking that this morning. I think Drewski would be perfect for this. I yep, thinking that this morning. Jack Harlow's friend, so she's a comedian, friends with a lot of... All right, Drewski, Banks. Um, Tana. Summer Ray. Summer Ray, yeah. Tana, yeah. if she ever will want to come on. Her schedule, she gets bad. I'm done asking her. She'll uh, be in Miami next weekend. She's not coming on. 
Okay. That's a that's an episode. BFFs. All right. See you. BFFs. Peace. <laughs>